we have uh, asked to not have gatherings over 250 people. And as I said, you've had some really serious events that a lot of people are looking forward to that have been canceled. Hi, babe. Hi, ma'am. Cluster fucking here. Yeah. A few months ago, we had planned a trip to go somewhere and we chose to go to Tallahassee right before the coronavirus uh, restrictions. We took everything serious and we were taking all precautions as we traveled. What's up guys? Good afternoon. Welcome to our life. We are uh, headed on a road trip. Um, I made it all the coronavirus uh, stuff going on. We had uh, booked a trip a while back and um, in Florida it's different from a lot of other states. So in Florida, you know, even though it's highly advisable to self quarantine, uh, what is what is what is it called? Quarantine, self quarantine. No, no like uh, uh, like s s s uh, something distancing. Uh, social distancing. Yeah, social distancing. They highly recommend that, but it's not like if you go to a restaurant or a hotel, they have to keep it up to about fifty percent occupancy and stuff. And um, so we can pretty much go anywhere. We just uh, ordered food from, uh, from out of beer. There were not so many people there. And um, it's, not, it's not as bad as everywhere else in Florida. So we're pretty much okay to like go move around and go places and stuff. Um, yeah, so we're on our way to Tallahassee. It's gonna take us about uh, four hours to get there. Uh, we're still in Tampa. So yeah. First time going to Tallahassee, neither of us have ever been there. Derek wasn't extremely excited about the idea, but I talked him into it. I originally picked it because it looks like we're in a good place to go hiking. There's some sort of wildlife refuge, I think, or something of that sort that has a really pretty, um, what is it? The Tower Lighthouse. Um, that looks really pretty at sunset. And then there's supposed to be a bunch of breweries in the area, except I don't think we're going to be able to go into any of them with what's going on, but we'll see. So, I think it's going to be fun. There aren't a lot of places that Derek and I have gone together where he's never been, except for when he came with me to Connecticut, right? Yeah. That's only when we um, went all over the Northeast. Derek had been to New York, I think, but you had never been to like Boston or Maine or any of those places. No. So that was a fun trip, but mostly of the places we've gone to, he's been there before. In a quarter mile, Cheers. On to I-75 North. Yeah, I was kind of dozing off on the road, so we stopped at the Cuban coffee shop. That was convenient because Cubans make uh, amazing coffee. Uh, we got a uh, cafe con leche, and um, yeah, feel better now. Back on the road. Yeah. We just got to our little Airbnb. It's not what I was expecting. It's cute in here though. Yeah. What are you gonna do? I don't know, right? Didn't do a job decorating. Yeah. Did they walk by itself? Yeah. A little place. Nice. We got our Airbnb. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's close to everything, right? It's supposed to be. Okay. I mean, the exit we got off was for the capital, so. Okay. All right. The question is, what's open? I know. Maybe we should play a game of what's open. <laughs> <laughs> yes.
Uh, we're going to the art district. 11 minutes from here. So it's a dead town over here in Tallahassee by the railroad uh, art district area. It's supposed to be, what is this? Is that a bar? It's open. Man, I would imagine this, this whole place is packed if it's open, but obviously it's a ghost town. Yeah, I was kind of hoping some places would be open, like if they had outdoor seating and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe there's more stuff down there. No, I guess we're going to be partying alone in our house. <laughs> As you can see, the railroad square art district was mostly deserted. So we decided to stop at the railroad square craft house and just had one drink and then went back home. More to come in, the, in our trip. Please subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified when we upload a video. And also, um, don't forget to leave us your comments in, uh, down below.